a very wonderful morning to you fellow nigerians an address to the grants community against the proposed protest dear members of the grant community i hope this message finds you in good health and spirits i have carefully listened to the voice notes from the united alliance african grant supporters particularly from pastor moses and the self-acclaimed president of ceos in the nigerian grant community as well as uh, Janet Atalakpa, who recently relocated from lagos to abuja for the sole purpose of grant voice notes these voice notes urge uag grant so, uh, subscribers to protest against government committee purportedly instituted by the federal government of nigeria however it is crucial to address some key points and questions regarding this call to action <clears throat> first and foremost let us reflect on the following number one subscription and responsibility did we subscribe to the nigerian government the answer is a clear no our contribution were made to the uag management not the government the uag management has a country director who is alive and well and it is on this note that i see that the responsibility of the country director of uag is to address our concerns not the government potential consequences participating in such a protest will not only risk your money but also your freedom if you are inclined to protest or if you want to go for protest direct your actions towards the uaag management for disbursement not the government government's role has the government ever addressed us regarding uag grant no they never did did any government operatives sign any agreement with us when we made our payment no they did not logistics and legalities where exactly will you protest to that is my question to the grant community which government office will you march to what will you tell security personnel when they conduct mass arrest for unlawful gathering <laughs> do you have any official document to support your claims against the government it is evident that the uag management not any government committee should be the target our our protest should be channeled to the uag management have you seen this committee have you seen this government committee before did they did they promise any grant in time past or during a uh, subscription the answer is no Mr. Pascal who made his claims at the Human Rights Office. According to him, he was directed by the country director of UAAG, which was confirmed on phone call anyway. He made his assertion that the document of the said grant UAAG is with the IG of police. And office of the president ask him to provide you with the photocopies of this document before considering any protest for your good without this do not risk detention by security operatives the same individuals pushing you towards this protest have their own motives they are leading you towards potential imprisonment the choice is yours now but my advice is to refrain from protesting against the government at this stage instead push your energy to uag management only then 
you might capture the government's attention. I have shared my findings about UAAG with the grant community, stating that I found nothing like UAG grant on personal investigation. Yet they went unheeded. Let us act wisely and cautiously. I want to say thank you for listening and good morning to all. Very sincerely, Comrade OCG, your regular anchor on Truths. Madas.